Yes. Uh, they changed their title from um, Muslim Brothers mm -hmm. into a terrorist group. Yes. We didn't change it. Mm -hmm. We didn't act for them, and we didn't ask them to do this. Yes. So uh, the law have taken a decision. I have to respect the law because the law is respected everywhere. Yes. In the entire world. Yes. Whether in the United States or in China or even in Europe. Mm -hmm. So East and West, the law is number one. Yes. So when the law says something, I have to respect it. Yes. Uh, anybody has uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, in terms of they don't recognize mm -hmm. this uh, law or yes. this action, mm -hmm. they have to go to the court also and ask that this is wrong. Yes. With their if evidence. they have other evidence. If they have the yes. other evidence. If they don't have, so it is, it's finished. Yes, and know. this is a, a very good important point uh, within the Egyptian society is that, do you feel that there is a lack of respect for the judicial rulings or the court rules, especially one of these which happened uh, on Tuesday, I guess, or Monday? Sir, let me tell you something. If we do not respect our law, yes. we do not respect our rules, mm -hmm. uh, we will be non-respectable people. Mm -hmm. So I have to respect every tiny thing said by the judge, by the law, yes. which is uh, it's giving the freedom and giving democracy a right. Mm -hmm. So democracy starts with law, yes. doesn't start with violent action. Mm -hmm. That's democracy. Yes. Uh, I hope uh, the Muslim brothers uh, recognize what they have done was against the Egyptian will. Yes. And uh, they have to apologize who have not committed a, uh, a crime yes. uh, to the Egyptian people. Mm -hmm. And they are most welcome to be with us. That's, they are Egyptians. Yes. We are not against them. But also, those who have been committed a crime, they have to pay the penalty for this. So the penalty was a kind of a, a jail or sentence. That, that's the penalty. Yes. It's not. We are not implementing this penalty. So it's a normal thing, and uh, uh, we cannot uh, uh, go against it. Yes. And what uh, really astonished me that some countries are saying. Uh, this is very wrong. Yes. Very good. Yes. How would you see that? Because uh, we know that uh, the ruling was condemned by the European Union, the UN, the US, uh, Britain, most of Europe. How do you see that? Do you think that uh, that this was not acceptable of them to be uh, commenting on an internal issue, a, co a court ruling by a Almenia governor right here in Egypt? First of all, they have to study the Egyptian law. Mm -hmm. And the Egyptian law is the law which is uh, uh, done by professional uh, through the constitution. Mm -hmm. And we never interfere into the European law. Yes. And European countries or United States. And of course, there's a big difference as well between Egypt and other countries that some of them, they don't even have the death penalty. But we have the religious aspect here in Egypt, according to Islam, that he could be killed if he killed uh, another citizen or another uh, Egyptian. Yes, sir. Yes. You have the death penalty yes. as well as Saudi Arabia. Yes. Uh, but, but most of the foreign countries, they don't. Yeah, so but... You don't really understand why. But they also, in the United States, there is, in, in, in some, uh, some uh, states, mm -hmm. you have a death penalty and the others are... In some not. states. Yes. Mm -hmm. So some people can be sent to the chair, electric chair, and uh, that's a death penalty for them. So we have to recognize and do and say one thing. Mm -hmm. What concerns the Egyptian belongs to the Egyptian. When somebody made the action towards the Egyptian people and killed over then 86 at, at this area, uh, police people and uh, citizens, yes. civilians yes. in this area, uh, what do you expect me to do and ask them? Yes. Should I uh, treat them and get them uh, uh, tea and coffee and uh, yeah. Yes. It's 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 judge who's uh, going to give them the penalty. It's not me. The other thing, uh, Egypt never uh, went against the United States or Europe 
yes. for any death penalty for or jail life jail for anyone mm -hmm. so why they interfere in our business this is our business yes and we would like to have a mutual understanding between both of us United States and Europe mm -hmm. we want to keep this kind of friendship uh, on on uh, for the sake of our countries and their countries mm -hmm. and we are not against the United States and we are not against Europe mm -hmm. but we are not interfering in any one of them mm -hmm. yes uh, Dr. Hussein uh, the same court has said the April the 28th as the date for a ruling on a case where 683 uh, Brotherhood members including the Supreme Guide of the Muslim Brotherhood movement Mohammed Badia face several charges uh, including murder do you expect the rulings to be as harsh as the ones that we've heard about this week it will be more than this but I want just the number of people you have said before to 520 as uh, uh, eight something yes. like this how many people are in jail right now mm -hmm. it's only about 140 150 yes. the ones that, that were arrested yes yes the rest is escaping out mm -hmm. Qatar is sheltering some of them mm -hmm. so uh, we made the penalty if they come back again they can go and uh, uh, ask for yes uh, and this of course we'll be talking more about uh, in the coming minutes is that Qatar is supporting terrorism and it comes out in the Arab summit and says that it is combating terrorism that's a bit of a contradiction but we'll be talking more about later please go on okay Qatar is <laughs> Qatar is a nice country uh, the people over there their advisors are not very professional mm -hmm. they need somebody to teach them it's a small country anyway no we call it as a country and yes. it's an Arab country mm -hmm. but we want them to recognize uh, change your advisors yes and that get the new advisors to lead you on the right track and to have Qatar in the right manner right performance we do respect the Qatar Qatarian people but they have to respect the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Dr. Hussein, uh, as promised, now we'll be talking more about the Arab Summit, finally. How do yes. you see uh, the resolutions of the Arab Summit and uh, the Qatari stance towards Egypt during the Arab Summit? Well, uh, when you go to an exam, mm -hmm. uh, you're not supposed to get 100% degrees, right? Yes, yes. But Egypt, in that com had that 99 mm -hmm. 99 percent so one percent is uh, is nothing mm -hmm. so you're especially still, after the speech of president yes. Adli Mansour. yes yes so this this come uh, the summit this summit uh, i consider this summit is a very important summit why because it it reminds me with 19 a 68 summit yes and it also reminds me with the summit of after the war of 1973 yes both of them the results coming out of this was excellent this one is an excellent one because you had really decided to make a, with the law and the police fighting Terrorists. Yes, uh, Doctor. Finally, because we only have about 30 seconds to be finalizing the uh, interview. Uh, how would you see the future uh, of the Egyptian Qatari ties? The short term. In the short term, yes, they have to uh, think positive, not negative, because what they are doing right now, they are negative. They are not positive at all. Um, Egypt will not keep quiet for any bad uh, influence yes and uh, they have to live with us not against us yes that's a very important thing uh, but once we say it's a young brother mm -hmm. this young brother he's still in kindergarten <laughs> we need him yes. to recognize that he's still in kindergarten yes and he needs to come uh, as uh, a student and then educated and then graduate. Yes, Dr. Hussein Shareba, the planning and development expert, thank you very much for being with us today on My Cruise. Thank you. Thank you. And this brings us to the end of this segment of My Cruise, so stay tuned. We'll be going out for a quick break and we'll be right back again.